Sorry? Yes. Faye? Yes. Something bad happened to me this weekend. What really? happened? I was towing this Porsche, and my trailer started doing something like this. See that? <laughs> See that? Your trailer. My trailer was doing that. I'm seeing it. Yeah, there you go. So that's exactly what happened. So your trailer started swaying. Yes. I started fishtailing, and it was... It and, was... and then you went to, like, pucker factor four. Yes, you can say that. <laughs> You should have been there. It was, it was a frightening. And I'm glad I wasn't there. <laughs> Luckily, I recovered the vehicle. Okay. Trailer sway can be extremely dangerous, mm. and it looks just like this. Camping with my dad. See? Oh, going over, going over oh, the lines. Look at that. Dude. Oh, my oh, God. Look See? at all those people. Oh. Look at. Oh, my God. It's still oh. good. Oh, that's not good. But what's crazy is it didn't flip the vehicle, it yeah. just flipped the trailer. But it got me thinking about a myth. So many things can cause that phenomenon of fishtailing and sway. Yep. It could be the wind. Ooh, I've experienced with that. I had a Toyota Micro Mini Winnie. So Little that would do it. Camper. If you have a vehicle with a much yeah. larger wheelbase doing the towing, oh. you have a less chance of experiencing that scary effect. What if somebody loaded the trailer terribly? Yes, Tori. I'm not naming any names, I'm just saying. In my infinite what wisdom, is? I did something like this. So I had a rear engine car that I went forward in, so I had all this weight in the back of my trailer. I had a lot of weight. You notice what's happening. Yes. Oh, less, my God. Less weight is on those back wheels, and now they're not on the road Understood. as securely as they should be. I mean, it, it actually is like forcing the back of the truck up. Yeah. Give me some Fay wind, and let's see what happens. Look, Look at that. That's scary. Fishtailing. Oh, oh, my oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think you would be having a heart attack right <laughs> Yes, <now>. I would. <laughs> this is a serious matter. Over 50,000 accidents happen annually based upon this phenomenon. The myth I want to focus on is this. If we experience trailer sway on a truck, can we straighten it out by accelerating? Isn't that, like, the exact opposite of what they say? I'm pretty sure that the safe thing to do is, to, like, Hit the trailer brakes. You would think that. Let's see what happens when we apply the rear brakes. You can either apply brakes to your trailer. Wow. We're back to right. straight. Yeah. Sturdiness. OK. Or go faster, elongating the wheel base to give us some integrity, and it'll give us the same effect. So just power through it. If power get, through it. If you start it. swaying, if you get fishtail, power through it. Well, that's the myth. All we'll right. Let's see if that's possible. Well, it's not the safest uh, solution, but let's see if it works. I might sit this one out, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. scary. And serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like, I mean, sounds like the perfect myth. We could potentially be saving lives. <laughs> so we just need to do this full scale. Yes. All we need is a truck and a trailer. I'll find a red one. It's an all too common phenomenon. But is acceleration the answer? Is BC's hypothesis a highway help or potentially fatal fiction? <laughs> It looks just like your model. Isn't it's that perfect? perfect? We proved with the small scale that we could create that swing. Right. Now we have to see with the full scale if we can recreate that same exact fish tailing. We get this wrong. <laughs> Our lives are on the line. Since you've driven a trailer and had that sway, I've never experienced that, so I'm kind of curious. But before I step into that truck, I want to make this thing as safe as possible. We could put training wheels on this. I know it sounds ridiculous, but they use it for highway patrol training. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how far out we're going to put this outer wheel to keep Tori and BC safe while they're out doing, you know, the dumbest thing ever. You like yeah. it? Yes. I mean, we can even go wider, but I don't want to get too crazy. So what we're thinking right now is, potentially, we could use this bar to bridge the two axles together to give us our width that we need. Oh, that is sweet. My main concern right now is structural integrity, but I'm feeling pretty confident that this is going to hold. Have you ever seen, like, such ugly, huge welds before in your life? But it doesn't have to be pretty. It's just got to work. It's like an extra axle, basically. Just for stability. Yeah. It's just there in case the truck starts getting a little crazy. It'll just keep it on the ground. Now, the other thing, I want to put a roll cage in there. So this is a halo of our entire roll cage system. Because if this thing does roll, whoever's driving is going to have a bad day. Ta-da! If perfect is what you want, yes. then I guess that's what we've got here. 
This is extremely important to improve the structural integrity of the truck. Oh, fork. It was fork. Above and beyond that, the driver should probably have some proper safety devices on, like a helmet and proper harness. We definitely need to make this safe. Yeah, so yeah. we don't die. So we have a proper main hoop here. We have the arm going back at a right angle. We have a harness bar and kidney bars, too. Yeah, this ought to... This is really good. What could possibly go wrong? I'm crashing this. Oh, <laughs> yes. Feel the adrenaline oh. up in Cars are not designed to sit on their roof. Of course. I'm very confident that this can withstand a decent multiple rollover incident. Yeah, it's going to be glorious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like leg day in the shop. I think this is going to work. The training wheels are looking awesome. I'm feeling good about it. So you can give this thing a test. Absolutely. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> We are here in an airfield for a very important myth. Can a truck towing a trailer at speed experience sway, and that sway is taken away by accelerating? Now, to ensure sway, we have four barrels of water distributed unsafely on the back of our rig. <laughs> Look at so, how horribly we've loaded yes. that trailer. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> well, good thing we're out here. There's not a lot to crash into except airplanes. Aside really expensive planes, airplanes. Yeah. All right, let's get the training wheels on and see if we can get this thing swaying. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. Excellent. We have affectionately decided to call this truck Big Red. Now, when we get up to speed, which on the first run will be an easy 40 miles an hour, then we'll ramp it up. So when we get this trailer to thrash around, which is what we're planning on, do you have the other nut? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Those wheels will keep us flat on the ground. They're stabilizing wheels, not training wheels. Now, if you remember from our experiment earlier on, to initiate sway, we want to move as much weight as possible to the rear. And we're going to use water. And each drum weighs 467.5 pounds. And it's working because 10 to 12% of the weight of the trailer should exist on that hitch. But now with all of this weight on the rear, we're not experiencing that. The back of the truck is now jacked up. As a matter of fact, we're already losing some adhesion to rear tires. So I hope Tori is ready for this because it's going to be a scary ride. 